Hey guys, after a bit of a, a hiatus, I've been looking at some of your requests, and I've been noticing that a lot of you were requesting a type of um, distorted guitar synth that feed, like the one that Feed Me uses. I'm going to be showing off that sort of synth today, and the example that I'm going to be showing off is the guitar section from Aerodynamic by Daft Punk, and here's what it's going to end up sounding like. So, yeah, there's a download link for this patch in the description because it uses one of these BV512 vocoders, which is very tedious and very difficult to actually describe where to put these levels. So, if you just want to get that out of the way and just download the patch, then be my guest. Um, but if you kind of want to know where this patch can bend in certain areas though, so you can sort of adapt it to your own taste, then I'll be showing off each individual section of the synth. So essentially what it is is that it's Thor based like most of my synths. The mode is set to mono legato and the portamento is turned on and set to 21. Um, that just seems to mimic the feel of an actual guitar, which is kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of the point of this tutorial. Um, the multi, the first oscillator is a multi oscillator, uh, set to octave 4, the detune amount is set to 14, then there's uh, the second oscillator which is also a multi set to octave 4, and the detune amount is set to 3, and then the third oscillator is analog set to octave 5 and they're all just running into this low pass ladder filter um, frequency all the way up res all the way down but that low pass ladder filter is now running into the shaper which is set to bipulse with the drive set to 87 and then that's running into um, this second filter the state variable filter with the frequency set to 193 and the res set to 111 and instead of having the um, shaper run directly to the amplifier I have it going to the filter 2 and then to the amplifier in the mixer set the balance to 25 um, just to get a little bit more of the grit from the first multi oscillator which is de uh, detuned a bit more. Amp envelope, um, full decay sustain, no release, or full release depending on how you look at it. Then, oh I forgot to mention I added a chorus here just so it just feels a bit more stereo and it doesn't feel as blunt of a sound. It It's a bit more smooth when you have a little bit of a chorus on there, but I don't have much on here, just enough that way so you can tell it's a stereo sound. Um, but yeah, back to the Scream 4. Um, the type is set to fuzz, the parameter 1 is set to 83, and the parameter 2 is set to 30. The damage you can really adjust this however you want. I didn't move it any, but depending on how um, distorted you want the synth, of course, you can adjust this. Um, if you're trying to mimic Feed Me sound, I would bring it down a little bit, just because their guitar synths seem to be a bit more um, on the clean side, if that makes sense. But yeah, I have this uh, RV7 digital reverb just to give it a little bit more of an atmosphere. Um, but of course, totally optional depending on what you're doing and depending on how you want to mix down all, um, all of your synths in a specific song or how you want to mix down this synth. Then the stereo imager, completely optional, of course. 
as with everything. Um, I'm operating on analog speakers, so it's very, very. I'm very, very picky about how I hear higher frequencies. So just having the high band, um, a little bit wider, it just sounds a little bit better in my own speakers. But if you're operating on on actual monitors or halfway decent speakers, then you, yours will definitely be different. So yeah, like I said, I have this BV-512 vocoder. It's an 8-band equalizer. And essentially all I've done is I've cut the lows down really low and brought up the highs, so or the highs and the mids. Um, I can't really give exact levels on this. So, like I said, there's a download link in the description. And, yeah, it it's very unprecise because it doesn't give me any specific numbers to go by. But, yeah, essentially just bring down the lows and uh, you can kind of keep the mids where they are and bring up the highs. So, yeah, that's essentially all that the synth is. Um, I hope you enjoy using it. I do plan on using it in the couple songs coming up I'm not sure when that when they're actually going to be finished but yeah I, I do plan on having some fun with these synths I hope you do as well and as always thank you for watching and have a nice day